Well, in the hit new series, Tulsa King, New York Mafia capo Dwight, played by Sylvester Stallone, is exiled to Oklahoma by his boss after 25 years in prison. He has to build a new criminal empire while coming face to face with a former associate, Armand, played by Max Casella. Take a look. I'm just saying you could sell it to be worth like 20 grand. Do you sell it? I can't sell it. They'll know I stole it. If I sell it, they'll think I stole it. Please, I'm trying over here. I'm really trying. Give me a break. Take it back there before someone looks up and sees it's missing. Okay. Cash, Armand. I nearly broke my neck getting that thing down. And Max is with us now. Welcome. Nice to have you here. Nice to be here. Thank you. So this is another great show by Tyler, uh, Taylor Sheridan. Um, it broke numbers, broke records uh, with the, the most single day subscribers yeah, for yeah, Paramount yeah, yeah. Plus, yeah. which is pretty awesome. It's you pretty already awesome. got renewed for season two. It's amazing. What's the response been that you have felt? Oh, I mean, uh, you know when you're on a hit show because all your friends and extended relatives start reaching out to you saying that they're loving it, yeah. watching it. And when you're on a show that's not doing so hot, you don't get that. So that's, <laughs> yeah. like, for me, is the litmus test. away. Well, you just don't hear from people. You know, they're not yeah. watching. But, I mean, people are like, I haven't spoken to members of my family in years and years and years. And they're like, we're loving you on oh this show. God, awesome. You know, and you, you could tell people are, are watching it and loving it. Yeah. So after 25 years in prison, um, Sly Stallone's character is basically, you know, sent to pasture in Tulsa. He's exiled. Like, the, he's exiled to yeah. Tulsa, Oklahoma. He's got to start, like, a new, yeah. new job there. Um, we meet your character, Armand, there as well. So tell us about kind of their relationship. So Ar Armand used to work for Dwight back in the in the 90s. Armand is a um, an associate of the Invernizzi Mafia family. He grew up in it. Armand's dad, his uncles, all his cousins, they're all in it. It's like you're born into something, but yeah. he doesn't really have the, the, the intestinal fortitude <laughs> to really go very high up in that. Okay. He doesn't have it in him, but he's extremely brilliant with numbers. So he's kind of a weak schlub of a guy. So they put him in charge of the sports book where he's doing very well. Yeah. And this, none of this has been revealed yet, but there is hopefully going to be, uh, see the light of day. I make a grave mistake in taking a bet, writing a bet wrong. It snowballs uh, into a tragedy that sends Dwight away for 25 years. Yeah. And I run. Armand's kind of a... You know, he's, he's a bit cowardly. Yeah. You see, he runs, uh, gets in his car, just starts driving, ends up in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and he's been hiding there for 19 years. He's got a wife, he's got kids, none of whom know anything about his past. Oh my and everything, God. he's flying happily under the radar, or not happily, he's living this sort of really mediocre, joyless, yeah. mediocre <laughs> life, just uh, living in fear all the time. And then suddenly he happens to see Dwight in a mall in Tulsa, yeah. Oklahoma, of all places. He's out of prison. Now, he can only be in Tulsa for one reason, to I think, you. and that is that he's caught up with me, and yeah. he's going to exact his revenge on me. Yeah. And so I try to be proactive and try to take him out before he can take me right. out. I can't even do that right. Right. <laughs> But you have some great scenes with Sylvester Stallone. We have and great chemistry together. I mean, he's like an old uncle chemistry, of mine. But I, I heard that you've he's, been a fan of his. Yeah, ever. like so who has this been? Like? You know, I, I had this poster on my wall when I was yeah. a kid. Who, who's not like a? You know, with Rocky in, in my neighborhood, as everybody else's neighborhood was, that we was huge. Yeah. You know? So to play with him in this way has to be pretty awesome. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, you know, you don't know. I'm like, I don't know what this guy is going to be like. Right. Um, and you hope for the best. Sometimes, you know, I've worked with tons of big stars. Yeah. Usually they're great, but once in a while, particularly somebody that you grew up idolizing, idolizing. and loving, and then sometimes you meet that person and they're kind of I like, know. nah, I could have done without meeting this right. person. Right, it ruins the it image ruins you the have image. in your head, but that didn't But happen. Sly is like the, the everything you would want him to be. I mean, he's, he's, he's a warm, generous, loving, hardworking, blue-collar guy. Yeah. He felt like an uncle of mine. I love He respects that. hard work. Um, 
he's funny. I think he's a great actor. Yeah, me and, too. And uh, the work he does on this show is the best stuff he's done in, in years. It, I agree with you. I think it's, it rivals it, his Rocky stuff. Yeah, it's I mean, really, really good. The show's amazing. But you have another show going on, too, which I need you to explain to me. It's a non-linear show for right, Netflix. So Kaleidoscope on Netflix is eight parts, but you can watch them in any order. It's non-linear. So it's about a bank heist during Hurricane Sandy where like $70 billion is stolen. And you can watch any of the first seven in any order, but you have to watch them all and then you'll unlock the finale, which is oh, the heist awesome. itself. So I'm I'm part of this backstory and part of the I haven't seen it. Really I'm not cool sure exactly though. where I fit into it until it's going to debut on Netflix January 1st. Oh, amazing. So you'll get to see it along with the rest of us and yeah. see how that plays exactly out. But right. in the meantime, you can catch Tulsa King out now on Paramount+.